Alright guys, here I am in another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Alright, we're out here on another Buildatopia, so I'm going to show you guys this one. This one is special. Um, this is a special recording because this is an island that I actually failed. I didn't, I didn't do this correctly, and there's no way that I can complete it. But I'm going to show it to you guys anyways. So, say hello. Alright, the boss says hello. Let's get to this build. All right, so here we are in uh, what I tried to bring New Dunk City from Mario Odyssey to this game. So that's what this is. This is where you would start if you landed inside the city, inside that game. So we're going to start from here. My driving skills are not that great. I got to admit. Um, but we're going to do a quick drive around. So you see in the grassy area here in that game, you and obviously you would see this area had a jump rope uh, competition going on. There were a couple of machines, and a lot of open space. So I made it, I made it Dragon Quest style. I put one of the uh, nice builds here. So it's a little, can we get out the car? No, you don't want to get out the car. All right. So I took one of the nice builds out on the Explorer Shores and I put it here. So it, all it is is a, a little tea set with uh, with a chair in the middle of the forest. My plan was to add more trees to cover this entire green area so it can be a lot more. Sort of like a maze or something like that where I can work my way into this area. But um, it didn't work out. So we go over here, you see how I made these buildings. They're actually a lot taller than this inside that game, but with this game's height restrictions, I could not build these buildings to be t as tall as I wanted them to be. Also here, so that's a four-story building in the game. Same thing over here. I started putting street lamps out because it gets pretty dark here at nighttime. And I was working on finishing that. You can see this uh, street here. It's a couple of houses. So these colorful buildings are houses. Is what those are. There's two bedrooms in each of those. I mean, there's two beds in each of those. And this is the last street on the map. Let me turn around. Go this way. See, I couldn't even get this to curve correctly in this game. So instead of a street, it's just like a... It's a mess. It's pretty much a mess. All right, we did the drive around, so let's walk around some over here. So this building right here, this building is the sole reason why I call this map a failure. So this is supposed to be the um, this is the building that the mayor is standing outside of where you had that that, con that concert on the inside. That's what this building is supposed to be. The problem is I cannot get it to that height. So I'll show you. I have this little staircase going upwards. I put the beds here at the time. They'll, they'll go away eventually. But the beds were just put here to stop the NPCs from sleeping on the ground. Yeah, my way. So right now, this is as tall as this building can get with this current map. That's our height restriction. Where that, where that uh, steeple is right there, that's as tall as this building can get. So it's not much of a skyscraper if, if it's only like, how many floors is this? It's only like three or four floors high, so that's not much of a skyscraper. So the whole map was supposed to be based off of this building, but this building cannot get to the right heights. So that's why I, I called this one a failure, and I, I threw out the idea for New Duck City. So I'm going to preserve this map because I, I don't have the heart to destroy it. <laughs> I put a lot of work into this, so I think what I was just going to do is I'm going to make it a I'm just going to make it a five floor building, and we're going to fill in some of the space around the map. You see over here, I tried to build more skyscrapers. That one was going to be four uh, floors tall. 
this one was supposed to be two. Um, right now they're empty. Even this one, I mean, I did the lobby. The lobby has marble on the inside, but it's still an empty building. Over here, there was another four floor building and behind it, it was supposed to be a three floor building, but I never got around to finishing before this recording. Right here is where this map was supposed to, um, was supposed to be like an edge. So my plan was to knock this down and make it so like if you fall down, you just keep falling. This would be the edge of the map. So I have my edges straight the way I want them to be. So um, at least I got that going for me. What a bum. All right. So like I said, these buildings here, these colorful buildings are uh, residential buildings. You have your first floor, which will be a living room. And then upstairs is uh, two beds. Some buildings have a toilet inside of them, and some of them don't because I didn't. I had to rearrange the space inside to get a toilet upstairs, but I made it so that the residents have to go in separate buildings instead of one major building to use the bathroom. This is another building. You can't use it in Odyssey, but I built it anyways. I thought about making it like a little car dealership or something. It's just built like random cars on each floor. So make it like a tour so people can tour the cars. Here are more residential areas, so people can live in these. But like I said before, the first floors are pretty much useless right now. And um, the second floors are where the bedroom is supposed to be. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. So when I first built these, these top floors weren't registering as rooms at all. So what I had to do is I had to put a door. These doors don't lead anywhere, but this floor needed a door so it can register as a room. So that is the, that is the thing for every one of these bedrooms throughout the map. They all have a door that leads nowhere. And that's how I got the bedrooms to register. Oh, see, every now and then one of them has a toilet. So the people who live up here can use that toilet and then eventually they'll have their own kitchen. So it's like that, like I said, for all these houses, let's go this direction. So it's another clear see-through building that's empty. Same thing with this one is also empty. These, these taller buildings here, they're supposed to be way taller than this, but right now, four floors is what I can get. I didn't intend for anyone to use them at all, so there there's no entrance to that building over there, but there is one here. I needed a door, so right now this door leads into this, to this building, but I'll find out a way to fix that later. You have your little balcony area or this is their little private area. So it's, it's supposed to be part of the house. That's what that was meant to be. Uh, these houses are connected to each other so I can get the bedrooms upstairs to register. But outside of that, that's, that's all that's going on in those buildings over there. Over here across the street is another residential area. This is the one that I built for myself. So. If, if you guys see my post on the Facebook chat, uh, the, the group on Facebook, Dragon Quest Builders 2, that's what this building is. It's a building I built for myself. And um, I'm going to fill it in later. Right here is the shops. So I have the armory shop. It's connected to the item shop right here through this, this little walkway. But of course, you can go in and out. So... It's a street side shop. People come in here and they buy stuff. You can see people bought all the armor and weapons I had in here. I don't know why they need them. You don't need armor and weapons on this map because there's nothing for you to fight. But they bought them anyways. Upstairs from the shops are the pub. It's the pub. So this is my bar. 
I pretty much took all the required items from the bars out in um in the story map and I put it here so I made a well stocked bar over here is my portable plant so people some characters come in here and they make drinks I'm not sure which character does it but they do make drinks every now and then see they made these drinks I just haven't caught anyone in the act to see who's been doing it so I got my item shops and the bar upstairs over here I turned this building into a, a giant greenhouse so they can farm inside this building there's an entryway on both sides so you can go either go in either way doesn't matter that's all it is it's just a giant greenhouse another residential building so across the street over here I wasn't quite sure that what to do with these buildings because like I said they aren't really used in game and in, in Odyssey so I did what I wanted I put another bar here so this bar has a little bit more room than the other one and inside here another portable plant but this one is a smaller one so this is really all you need to make a portable plant a portable plant so if you guys are struggling to make one just take note of what I have in here I have three barrels I have two of these barrels three crates and a leather sack and a, and a treasure chest so it's all you need for a, a plant over here's another residential building but the twist to this one is I have a balcony so the balcony leads you upstairs so originally I was gonna have a third floor up here but then I realized that that would be almost as tall as this, the tallest building in the on the map back there so I didn't do that so I stopped at a two-floor building next door here you can see this is a rooftop uh, kitchen that they uh, all eat at and they cook here on the building over there I put this is where I made all my animals live since they were sleeping all over the island and it the chickens were here leaving eggs all over the place so I put them all up here so they can do it all in one area but now all I have is the cat and I have the giant golem thing uh, the stone statue I don't know where he goes during the daytime but he sleeps up here anyways back to this building so going down the second floor is the training room They got a training room with a view. Uh, pumping station with the bathroom here. For some reason, the people were still complaining about needing the toilet, even though there was toilets all over the map. So I put another one in here. There you are. So this guy claims that, they claim that this guy likes to, um, to create dyes so I made a room just for that so on the back side of this building if you go upstairs you can hit the second floor right now this room is empty but right here is a dye works so no one's been making dye I don't know who's supposed to the living statue is supposed to uh, they claim that they know they like making dye but I have not seen him do anything yet I don't know maybe if it's hard for him to get up here or what I'll have to work on that later and like I said the back stairs take you back up to the third floor here's another greenhouse for the farmers so they do more farming They can never say they ran out of food on this map because there's plenty of food here. They just have to farm it and get it themselves. This back alley leads to an empty building that I'm not using right now. I was going to close this up, but um, I think I could find a use for it. I'm just not sure yet. So 
So here we are, three floors. That's just there because I needed, well, at the beginning I needed hearts, but you see my hearts are building up here. This map has been around for a while. I spent some time on this map, so you see how my um gratitude points are racked up since then. And this is just supposed to be a dark alley. I was supposed to make this, uh, my intention was to make this alley a little dark and creepy. There's always a dark and creepy alley in every city, so I wanted one in my city. And um, that's the map. So, I kind of I kind of failed when it came to making New Dunk City, but this this can I think I can use this flip it for something else, use it for something else. Oh, that building right there is also not being used for anything. Neither of those two. So that that's just there for decoration. So is this one. So I'm not sure if I can just keep everything here and fill in, or if I should just flatten the entire thing and start over with something different but that's what we have for now